Hi there, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. Now, today's episode is something pretty darn cool. In front of me here, uh, I've got this Walther box, and inside of this Walther box is a very special gun. This is a PPKS, not just any PPKS. This is a PPKS that I built on the Walther factory floor in Fort Smith, Arkansas. In fact, it is only the fourth such Walther pistol built on their factory floor by someone who was not a factory employee. And so you may find yourself wondering, Logan, how in the world did you manage to find yourself on the Walther factory floor building your own PPK? Well, the answer uh, is quite simple. Um, in addition to the high caliber history stuff that I do, I'm also the host of the No Low Ballers podcast uh, put on by Go Wild and sponsored by Gunbroker.com. And we happened to be in Arkansas uh, recording a number of different episodes, some of which were actually done at the Walther Arms Factory in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And while we were there, uh, Cody Osborne, uh, one of their head of marketing guys, uh, was kind enough to give us an, an awesome tour of the entire factory, show us the whole operation, um, but then take us into the area of the manufacturing for the PPK. And that's when he dropped the bombshell. He said, uh, would you guys like to build your own PPKS? Um, and of course, <laughs> the answer is a resounding yes, right? Um, who wouldn't want to do something like that? And so we went through, they've got an awesome group of guys working on the line there. Um, everybody does a number of different jobs, um, but they said that uh, a, a well-trained, well-seasoned employee can put together an entire PPKS pistol in four and a half minutes. Um, it definitely took me a lot longer than four and a half minutes. Um, but nonetheless, it was really cool to go through the whole process of building my own gun there uh, on the factory floor. It was neat. Uh, they've recently brought the melanite finishing process, the black finishing process. They've brought it all in-house. So they're doing all of that work right there in the factory so that they can control all of the quality control stuff on the guns. Um, another interesting thing, uh, we met a guy while we were working on the line. Of course, on the safety, you've got the red dot. And then there's also the red dot on the rear sight and the red dot on the front sight. Now on the stainless versions of the PPKS, that is machine applied. But on the melanite version, the black melanite version, that's actually hand applied. Every single one of those. There's a guy sometimes with a toothpick, sometimes with a Q-tip, depending on what he's working on. There is someone putting those on by hand. Now, why they do it with a machine on the stainless guns and by hand manually on the melanite guns, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no one was able to give me a good answer on that one, but I just thought that was a really interesting, neat little personal touch about these guns. Uh, and so we got to go through the entire manufacturing process of the gun there, uh, which was really neat. You know, they've got their some specialized jigs and tools that, that the frame and parts of the slide and everything fit into uh, so that it makes the assembly a little easier and a little faster. And then it goes through uh, and they put it in a machine to do all the different function checking. Um, and so it is cycling the action on here uh, a number of different times. Um, and then there is a, a manual trigger weight testing um, with weights of, of different weight. Um, and, and that's a, a manual test of, of a, a no or no, uh, of a go or no go um, in terms of the trigger and the safety mechanism. And then from there, uh, of course, you've got to test fire the gun. And of course, first comes proof firing. So the gun gets put into a jig um, and it is uh, triggered by a machine so that no one is holding onto the gun in case it blows up because proof rounds, if I remember correctly, are three or three and a half times more powerful than the standard 380 rounds uh, that the gun is chambered for. 
um, it survived the proofing rounds and so then they were able to hand the gun to me we walked over to the bay next to that uh, and I loaded up and fired five rounds um, which is the normal function testing uh, firing for that gun um, and of course it passed which was good news for me and, and everybody at Walther involved uh, they trained me well right um, and then the, the absolute coolest part of this entire process is they boxed the gun up and shipped it to me, uh, shipped it to me right here at home. Uh, I, I have an FFL, so yes, uh, they, they shipped it right here at home. Um, and so I, I literally birthed, <laughs> if you will, I birthed this PPKS. Um, and then I was able to bring it home and take it to the range and, and do some shooting with it. And it was just a really, really exceptionally cool process um, and something that I was totally honored to have done. And uh, it, it is not lost on me how fortunate I am to have been able to do something like that. Um, and, you know, and it was proof that, that these guns, you know, they, they weren't cherry picking parts and different things. Uh, one of the other guys that was with us. Um, they had to uh, end up swap into a different frame because it was slightly out of spec um, and they were having a hard time getting the internals to go in. For myself, uh, much more minor, but uh, I had to swap out for different grip panels because uh, the bushings were stripped in one of the grips. Um, but got it all up and running and, and working and uh, I've, I've since fired it since the gun has come home with me. Um, and, and as an arms historian, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. You know, we often, we're trying to learn as much as we can about the guns that, that we are the custodians of. And, you know, one of those things is often done through factory letters, you know, and you can find out exactly, you know, when the gun w was made and shipped and where it went. Um, and, and with this gun, I, I, I don't need a factory letter. Uh, because I'm the one that put it together and the folks at Go Wild uh, filmed this when we were there doing the No Low Ballers podcast. Um, so just just a big thank you to all the Go Wild and Gunbroker and Walther Arms folks for making this something that I was able to do uh, there at the Walther Arms factory. Thank you to Cody at Walther for helping make this happen um, and just thought you guys might want to see the, the little bit of the behind the scenes process of what goes on to actually build a PPKS pistol at the Walther Arms factory there in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So thanks for tuning into this episode of High Caliber History. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you right here on the next episode.